16 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few forwards I look to buy and trade for this week. The first guy, John Collins of the Atlanta Hawks. At Collins, he got banged up in yesterday's ball game versus the Phoenix Suns with a shoulder injury. But the Hawks came out on top with a great victory in that one. So on the season here for Collins, 16.7 points a game. Eight rebounds, two assists, 1.1 blocks, 1.3 threes a game, and 54% from the field. But this season, I just don't feel like the pop is all there for John Collins. A few bad games and a few good games is which even the stats out. And he's not happy in Atlanta as well. So we definitely could see him getting traded by next week NBA trade deadline. And the last few weeks here for Collins, 14 points a game, eight rebounds, two assists, a block, 59% from the field here so right here he's had some good games i can mention and some games where he was down but if he gets traded to another team i think his value goes up and he's going to be a better player in fantasy as well obviously january 30th versus the lake is 20 points 11 rebounds two assists three steals 76 percent from the field january 31st versus toronto 6.7 rebounds four assists two blocks 27 percent from the field and february 3rd versus the suns 19 points 10 rebounds and assist in 61 percent from the field so this is what i mean with collins one good game one bad game has been on for collins over the last few weeks here the consistency isn't as good as it was last season where he had a monster year and right now i think a change of scenery obviously will help him which he wants and obviously help fantasy owners so right now well his numbers are mediocre in my opinion this is a perfect time to go out there and get Collins below value where he was in the beginning of the season. Next forward is Aaron Gordon of the Denver Nuggets. Aaron Gordon, he's having another solid season over here in Denver. 14.5 points a game, 5.6 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1.1 threes a game, and 51% from the field so right here the field goal percentage is the surprising thing to me here with Aaron Gordon this season over here in his first full season with the Denver Nuggets after last season he got traded from the Orlando Magic at the deadline to Denver in the last couple weeks here 15 a game 5.3 rebounds 3.1 assist 1.4 threes and 47 percent from the field so I feel like Aaron Gordon a lot of people they just not a fan to him or like him really on the fantasy rosters, but he's been pretty consistent throughout the season here, is Gordon, in my opinion. January 28th at the Pelicans, 20 points, four rebounds, two assists, a steal, two threes, 44% from the field. January 30th at the Bucks, 24 points, seven rebounds, a block and assist, four threes, 58% from the field. And then February 1st, he did have a down game in Minnesota, seven points, six rebounds, two assists, and 33% from the field. So right here, Gordon's quietly having a good year. And I think quietly you could go out there and get him and not have to give up much for him because I think he's a pretty good, consistent player. And he's ranked right now in fantasy basketball in the top 70 in the rankings. So right now I think he would be a solid piece to a fantasy roster at this time of the year. And the third and final forward I look to trade for and buy this week's Marcus Morris of the Los Angeles Clippers. So Marcus Morris, he's been out of the lineup for most of the season here. But he's returned recently and he's putting up numbers. And we know Morris, he's a good scorer when he gets an opportunity to play 30-plus minutes a game. And now with news coming out in the last few hours here, Tyron Lou saying it's highly unlikely that Kawhi Leonard's going to come back this season. So on the season here for Morris, 15.8 points a game, five rebounds, 2.2 assists, two threes, and 42% from the field. So right now, he's going to have more of a role. And obviously, no Leonard and Paul George, who knows if they're even going to rush him back. Because this Clipper team here, it's a season where the injuries have hurt him, and they're just not playing good basketball. So right now, Morris should get an opportunity each and every game here to go out there and play major minutes and put up good fantasy stats. The last few games for him, January 30th at Shaw with 16 points, three rebounds, and assist to steal two threes, 50% from the field. January 31st at Indiana, nine points, five boards, four assists, 28% from the field. And then last night versus the Los Angeles Lakers in a great ball game where the Clippers did pull out the victory, 111, 110, 29 points, Seven rebounds, three assists, a whopping six threes, and 68% from the field. So last night's line is something you're going to see from Morris from time to time. He definitely has those big games. And when he gets hot from the field, he's one of the better scorers on some nights in that ball game. So Marcus Morris right now with the news with Leonard and George still no timetable for his return. 
is definitely a guy who would go out there and try to get in a trade this week. So that's a few forwards I look to buy and trade for here. Week 16 of the fantasy basketball season.